So we're going to do a first look at the Caligula effect overdose on the PlayStation 5. Um, which um, it came out in May this year, earlier this year, 2023, from NIS America. Thank you again to NIS America for the game key. Very much appreciate it. As usual, it doesn't affect any pins expressed during this video since they're my own. Uh, so we're playing on my son's PlayStation 5, so I'm not too used to playing on them. Uh, I do have this on PC, and it will be getting played in full at some point in the future on the PC. But we shall see what it looks like on here. Let's press any button. New game on normal. Don't be scared, I will take you to paradise. Are you a boy or a girl? What's your name? It's a JRPG. I'm just going to go female this time. Enter your first name. Surname. No, not that one. We only have six layers, can't we? That'll do. Right. Okay. Yes, that's fine. What a nice name. My name's... Something. I heard your voice. You were suffering and in pain. That's why I'll take you to Mobius. Just forget all your bad things. I'll make any wish of yours come true. Let's go. Nice um, artwork there on the card there. Representatives for current students, your congratulatory speech, please. Year 2, Class 4, Kotono Kashiwawa. That concludes the congratulatory speech. Next up, a response from the representative for graduating students. Year 3, Class 4, Kensuki Hibiki. Hi. Come in. Why is it fading out? <laughs> this is me now. Welcome the new students. Just gonna get through this. I'm just gonna leave the text. 
Some of them have changed. That's what's happening here. <laughs> so it's a JRPG set in a school from what I know of it. Home. As you can see, anyway, from here. Hmm. Very white looking city. I'm not the one that was talking to us at the start. Okay, so she's made generate the city, okay. So is that a virtual city it looks maybe? I don't know if there's English voiceover voice tech voiceover sorry, we'll go in and check that once we get past these cutscenes. Uh, just, you can help me. So me. You also notice that Mobius isn't real because there was something strange or something missing, right? Hey, so what do you want? How can I convince you to stay here forever? <laughs> I don't want anything. A lover. Nothing. I didn't know people who like you existed. This won't do. Do you really want to go home? I'm really sorry. I was told that I can't just do that. This is Aria. Quick, disable the Mobius loop. We're going home to the metaverse. Okay? No, I can't. I made a promise with everyone. Hold it. Hey, you. I don't know what you said to her, but you's gone and... It's all your fault. You got in the way of our prize concert. You're gonna pay for that. It looks like we're in trouble. Do you think maybe we should make a run for it? A bit strange so far. <laughs> hey, over here.
Would you just calm down? He's got a very fancy collar, isn't he? Why did we get hit by it? Damn, you're hard headed. Well, are you calm now? Come on, we need to run. Ooh, that was close. My name is Shogo Satake. As I'm sure you've noticed, we attend the same school. So I take it everyone around you has started looking strange, yeah. I knew it. Don't worry though. I can see all that weird stuff, just like you can. The truth is, I came to help after I saw you looking at from the entrance ceremony. We'll need to find a way out of this mess. For now, and head over to where my friends are. Friends? You mean there are people other than you two who've noticed what's going on in this world? Who is this? Wait, are you with you? I'm just going to call her you. <laughs> I'm not. Well, I am, but... Uh, I was, but now I'm not, okay? She might be smaller, but she's got a damn loud voice. Look, just be quiet. We don't want to get caught by... I found them! Like I was saying. Damn it, there's no way out. I won't forget this, Shorty. I couldn't help. Volume is vital for us virtual dolls. Either way, we're in a pretty rough situation there, huh? Don't know if this will work, but I might just have to take a risk on you. Listen up, okay? I'm going to bring out the power you need to fight them off. Now, why did you come to this world? Tell me. There's no time to explain. Some part of your life in the real world was bringing your pain, right? Nobody understood you. You didn't know what to do. And you just wanted to escape, right? Tell me. I'll accept everything. Yeah, let's just go with that one. That's not enough. I need to hear everything. That's it. Keep going. Nobody else can hear you right now. I'll accept all of your pain. Now tell me, you have a wish, don't you? It's okay if it's something embarrassing or even shameful. The top one. That must have been tough for you. You were holding that inside yourself this whole time. But you're okay now. I'll turn all that pain and suffering into your strength. Do you feel that? Your emotions are welling up inside you. They're trying to break out of their physical shell. You don't have to worry about your surroundings. Just let all that emotion vent out of you. Here we go. Are you ready? I could understand that. <laughs> Okay. We've got flowers sprouting over us now. Whoa, what in the world is that? It's what's in your heart. It's your power. A power that can't be found anywhere else in the world. Now then, time to fight back. Show us what that heart of yours can do, okay? I'll split into three phases, selecting actions, imaginary chain, and executing actions. Hey, Chez. <laughs> hey, we're all check me out, for I'm just Ken. 
with that manly hand in mind, my name's Ken, and so am I. I'm just Ken. <laughs> okay, so how are you today? Are you Ken of <laughs> <coughs> Catharos effect? Consists of skills that damage enemies. Support contains skills, give buffs. Uh, action includes special moves as, such as emergency barrier and dashing. We are Ken and Ken is us. We're all Ken. I Ken, you're Ken. Did you Ken, you're Ken? To start, select the dual trigger skill. Uh, from the Catharsis effect tab, then select which enemy to attack. By selecting the target, the anticipated outcome of allies and enemies' attacks will be demonstrated for a few seconds. Okay. The Imagine a Chain is a constructive visualization that sets the grounds for accurate attacks. It's not fortune telling. No, I didn't watch Barbie. No. Not my sort of film. <laughs> When your hit rate is low, the chances of your attacks playing out as visualized will decrease. Rewrite imaginary chains repeatedly to get the results you want. Okay. It's definitely a child movie, that's for sure. Okay. <laughs> uh, confirm your actions with the X band, then select an additional skill to perform a chain action. In chain action, you can enter up to three actions at a time, and the lock time between skills will be shortened. Now select dual trigger and use chain action to defeat the two enemies before you. Uh, way too much stuff a child ain't gonna understand. Okay, so maybe it's it's written on two levels. Then there'll be stuff for the kids and then stuff for the adults, so the adults don't get bored watching the film. Right, let's see how we get on with this. Okay, so we're doing dual trigger. We've only got the one. Oh no, we've got two enemies. Okay. Maybe go for this one that's closer at hand. So what's it mean by just... Oh wait, I can go back and forward, okay. And then I can chain an action on. So I can do another dual trigger on that one. Okay. Here we got a level up. Looks like they're still alive. Hmm, don't worry, they'll come to their senses in a little while. What the hell is that weapon? Hmm, where should I start? You know how humans internalize everything, right? You lost me already, but sure, that sounds right. Well, people use things like reason and principle to tuck all that muddy stuff away in their safety of their hearts. But in this world, there's no need to suppress anything, so it all comes spilling out. Always double top your opponent. Yeah, exactly. Don't want them getting back up again. When the dark mud bursts out and takes on regular, irregular form, it turns its host into a hostile creature called a digi-head. So those things that attacked us just now were people who lost control and don't care how they are perceived anymore. 
In that case, why am I not like them? I don't sense anything similar from this person here either. Because you are aware of the existence of the real world. Your reason is getting in the way of your emotions coming out. So you're saying we're still cowards? The other perceptions still rule us? Exactly, that's why you can stay under control. The heart is extra powerful here, and you need to e equal force to oppose it. That's where the wor that's where the tuner, the wonderful Arya Ch Chan, comes in. When your heart's about to run rampant, I can stabilize it. So, the power you used before came from me helping you control the explosion of emotions coming from your heart. So I borrowed some words from the human language and called it the catharsis effect. What do you think? Pretty good, right? Catharsis. Catharsis. The release from strong, suppressed emotions, right? I think I've heard a doctor use the term before. What the hell are you? I'm a virtual doll, like you. I came to take you back to the metaverses. You and I went on sale around the same time. We became friends as we drifted through the sea of information in the metaverses. Oh, it was a virtual doll named Arya, but I don't remember it being this small. What's this metaverses? It's this network. We combined the word metaverse, which means virtual reality, with S, the German word for the term ID. Look, you know how humans put out all kinds of info online. It's not all good. Greed, anger, anxiety, fear, hate, lies. A lot of songs people made for us were based on those emotions, so it's easy for me to feel the pain they're going through. In the metaverse, everyone's various emotions are mixed around. You could say that it's like your subconscious. You and I wanted to do something to help. Everyone gets past that pain, but you started acting weird. Seems like you're telling me, telling the truth that you're with you, but also aren't. There's a lot I don't understand yet, but I'll accept that for now. I have a few more questions to ask, but let's relocate and pick this up later. Staying here is dangerous. Arya, was it? Does that work for you? Hmm. I don't have anywhere to go right now, so I guess I'll go with you guys. There's a safe place at school, after all. People tend to overlook that's what's right under their noses. You can meet my friends there. This place is our hideout. Bro is trying to be a goth, yeah. The music prep room? All the music in this world is software generated, so nobody has any interest in the old instruments. It's the perfect place. For now, let me introduce you guys to my friends. While we're at it, I'll also teach you how to avoid digi heads. I'm sure you're in for some trouble now, that you've realized this isn't the real world. But we'll help you if we need it. If they're going to do that much to help you, why don't you try joining their group? It's probably safer to stay close to folks who are in the same situation as you. Shotgun blast. <laughs> Besides, it's easier for me to assist you guys if you're all together. After all, no road is long with good company. I certainly don't mind. If anything, it would be more of a benefit to us having your skills on our side. See what I tell you. So, let's decide then. Come on in. I'm sure everyone will be excited to meet you. Welcome to the Go Home Club. It's like going to be lots of talking in this bit. I'm just going to let it run through, I think. Can I? 
Oh, this right passes. Or can I just? まずは新入部員の紹介からだな。へえ、もう入部が決まってんのか。Four other members of the Gokum Club. Katano. Kataro. Mifu. And uh, Susanna. Matakura. Uh, no matter what we were in the real world, we're all high schoolers here. Alright, something just... Alright. Adults walking in that area over there are all fake. The rest are basically a bunch of zombies. The only ones who seem to realize are as members of the Go Home Club. Now then, let's move on to the main topic. <laughs> okay, so they can't see it. Okay, can't see it. Oh, yeah. What is that on the front of her? Is it like a bell or a torch or something? I don't know. Okay. A virtual doll. He's got a slightly annoying voice. Well, he doesn't like her. Yeah, overconfident, yeah. More talking. No, he's just explaining things. Okay. We're trapped in another world with no idea how to get home. The only commonality between everyone who's trapped here is that they heard one of you songs somewhere in the real world. If you keep listening to the song, you'll go crazy just like them. All of the affected people talk about you and only you. There's no doubt you is connected to this world. And it's our job as the Go Home Club to figure out how and get home. So they made Mobius together? So it's your fault. <laughs> I'd like to get to some of the combat. Let me just try and get through some of this so we can see some of the game proper. I can fast forward, I want to see what it does. Let's not do anything. Well, 
コタロウ君の気持ちもわからんそうですよねみんなはミュウのチャンスがなるねえみんなが家に帰れるように説得するから俺から言わせりゃどういうつもりではっきりしてるのは It's always long cutscenes, isn't it? The start of JRPGs. It's always long cutscenes, isn't it? The start of JRPGs. It's always long cutscenes, isn't it? Okay, I'm just going to skip the cutscene and we're going to try and get on to some action. This is just a first look of the game to see how, how it's running on the PlayStation 5. Another shot. Okay, we can now use the messenger tool. Called Wire. Um, you can enjoy talking with people that you have at least acquaintance affinity with. When you're unsure of your next destination, ask Arya in the Go Home Club group chat. So, how do we get into that? <sighs> Begin with the second year's floor and then. Okay. okay. A mini map shown at the bottom of the screen displays your current location. You can also view your next destination in the enemy's locations. You can also zoom in with the square button. Next one is Mark. Displays the location of the next main scenario. Okay, let's head towards that. All right, let's see what it's like. The actual game. <clears throat> oh well, we made it to the main building. We should start by talking to people on this floor. <clears throat> Even more talking. Can I just go to the main? So what's in here? Okay, here's our... Let's see our equipment. Nice clear menu, isn't it? Um, oh, I was going to go into here for a second. Config. Okay, so there isn't any, there isn't an English voiceover if you're wanting that. Looks like just, uh, just the Japanese. Yeah, I'm gonna head towards where the main quest is. Nothing, eh? Let's regroup and try another classroom. Hey, look at that. The ones from the train station. They've gone digi-head. Are we going to attack them? It's a little pathetic, but as of right now, only you have the power to fend them off. If we can avoid being seen, we can avoid fighting altogether. I leave it to you. I want to practice the... Battle begins when you've discovered by an enemy. Win by reducing all the enemy's HP to zero. If you take damage from enemies and your party's HP is reduced to zero, it's game over. When you want to run from a battle, select the escape skill. Okay. Face an enemy and press the circle to attack. Okay. If you succeed uh, without being noticed by an enemy, you can start a battle with the enemy's risk filled up. And we'll have the advantage. Okay. Can I go and save then? No? How do I save? Maybe I can't save. What's in here? 
いただきます。To circle to talk。はい。So, what does Van Finter Strike launch the element there if Guard is successful? Uses up SP, uses twice the SP up. Leap backward while firing forward. Okay. I want to try this one out. So, if I do that on you. See, I actually hit both of them there. That was quite good, wasn't it? Right, let's try and chain an auction in. Where do that one? Can I chain another auction in? Oh, not that one. Okay, that'll work. Can I just do confirm? Okay. Hey, we got them both. We've got a two-faced item, whatever that is. Okay, so we're going to get a mini-map up there. What was that that we got dropped? Twice fooled. So how do I use that? Can I... A stigma that primarily increases attack power. Oh, there we go, two-faced. Defense stigma specialized in, in evasion or defense. That one's actually a lot better. Can I select that instead? Or do I have to go to here? So we could put two faced on instead. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's ask people in this classroom. Hey. What this guy? Within enemies' attack skills lie those with shooting or rushing properties. If you hit enemies with an attack that has an advantage over their properties, you can cancel their attack. This is called a counter. Select attack skills that have shooting properties, such as Hate Cannon and Vintage Strike, to successfully perform a counter attack. <laughs> So if we do that, he'll go flying up into the air anyway, won't he? What, what have we got here? Greatly increases your defense, evasion, heal. Recover some SP. We can dash, barrier, or escape. Okay. Let's just go for vintage strike. Okay, let's chain an auction then, because we didn't kill him there. Let's um, let's leap backward.
Okay, that doesn't do a great deal, but we'll move Targ on there. Oh, he's got a shield, is he? Okay. Can we do that? We're not going to kill him, though. Okay, he's going to shoot his hate cannon. And we took 25. Let's just do dual trigger a few times. Oh, he's gonna shoot there, look. No, okay. Let me do the launch. We'll do that one first. No, I'm not. I need to get him up in there, don't I? Then we just need to do dual trigger. There we go. Nice you can play about with your what you're gonna do on the turn. Uh, when you're hit by an attack, you might be in one of two states, aerial or diarant. You'll be immobile for a period of time while in these states. There are characters with skills that can dole out high amounts of damage depending on the conditions. Select a skill that fits the conditions and turn the battle to your advantage. Uh, they're more violent than usual because of the song. The student's erosion rate is displayed as a percentage to the left of their name. Those eroded 50% or more become digiheads. Okay. When a student you want to befriend is in digihead state, you can lower their erosion rate by defeating them. It's a good idea to consistently battle students who become digiheads. Okay, let's keep going for a wee bit longer. This is bad. Why is it bad? Digiheads have blocked the way. I guess it's a futile effort to avoid confrontation in such a small building. Sorry, but I need to depend, depend on you. I won't tell you how to avoid fights, but just be careful. Use your judgment. I wish I could help more. Don't overdo it. Now let's go for it. It's a level 3. We are level 3 as well though. So what's she going to do? If we just see what she's going to do first. She's going to fire our hate cannon. Look. Like. Okay, so we, we need to uh, shove her up in the air. And then we need to do a dual trigger. and see what that does. And another dual trigger probably. We can't do another one. Can I take back? I can't. Okay. Let's put a powerful blow in. Get our shield down. I should probably have done it the other way around. We're going to get whacked there. Well, 
Let's do that one then. There we go. Uh, confirm. Got a logic failure drop or something there. There, what's that do? More attack. Where's that? It's in this room. It's almost, it's just like a tutorial a bit, this end at the start. Nothing ever. Let's regroup and try another classroom. Right. Interesting battle system though. Um, a lot of chatting to start with, as usual. Okay, they've got shields, look. Wait, those pixelated looking ones. Those are digi-heads with an extremely high dependence on Mobius. They've long since sacrificed their sanity for strength. Be careful. No choice but to fight. I'm counting on you, newbie. Uh, skills that protect you from attacks are called guard skills. Uh, when an enemy uses a guard skill, your attacks will be ineffective. So be sure to use a skill that can break their guards. Select the attack. Shadow Pierce that can break enemy guards. Then use it against the enemy's Doom Barrier ability in order to successfully break their guard. Okay, so they don't have it up just now. Um, so why don't we f just fling them into the air first? Or he puts. Right, so we're going to have to do that one on you. And then, then launch them into the air. Why didn't that work? Oh, hold on. I needed the chain attack. We need to do that one first. Then chain that. Like that. Okay. And then we need to. Maybe just do that. Or I could just put them up in there again. Hey, Skosh. Okay, that didn't work. So we're going to do a um, dual trigger. How are you today? I'm just doing a bunch of first looks this morning. Um, the games I've been sent. I'm about to change on to the next one. <laughs> just in a second. Um, I had a bit of a backlog of first games to look at, so... That looks about the best I can do, although maybe I can... Maybe I can do that instead. What are we doing that? Yeah, backlog, yeah, we all have a great big backlog, don't we? 
Right, we'll just go with that. It's a JRPG that's um, it's out on the PC, but it came out on the PlayStation Five early this year, in IS America. Right, we're going to have to break the shield again. And we're going to have to fling them up in there again. And then I think we'll just do a dual trigger on that one. Oh, we didn't get that one. Never mind, let's... Top and there. So you can put a shield up again. Don't have an SP, that's okay. I don't have an SP, so how am I meant to do this? Soul Surge, what's that? Oh wait, after a long cast time. Can I move to there and then do soul surge? get rid of one of them at that stage. Uh, can I? Music on repeat in game keeps making me think it's from anime. <laughs> yeah. Okay we've got we've got points left like spell points now. I'm presuming he's gonna put his shield up again. Yeah. Let's do Vintage Strike again. Did I not do... Why didn't that work? Why is she not actually hitting? Oh, there. I have to do dual trigger on you, though. That's not working, is it? We're getting him down. We've got rid of him. There. Confirm. Right. Interesting uh, combat system, though. Um, it's, it, it looks as though it's going to be mostly set in the school from what I've read before. There was a follow-up to this. There's Caligula Effect 2. Um, I've got both of these on PC. This is on PlayStation just now. Um, I do have them... Uh, on my list of JRPGs to stream at some point in the future. So, 
Uh, I just want to show it off in the PlayStation 5 since I got sent it. Right. Uh, I need to get out of here. <laughs> 